Hongtao, China is set to start phase two of its vaccine clinical trials. We mentioned we're still waiting to hear the results of phase one. Uh, what are you hoping to hear and see come out of that? Uh, I think phase one will be okay because this is just a, like a very small uh, scale uh, um, test uh, for uh, safety and in general it should be okay and uh, from the news sounds like uh, people uh, went through this uh, uh, vaccine uh, vaccination they, they're, they're fine they have no major problem um, the critical concern is um, you know how fast we can go uh, with uh, phase two and that's uh, what people being uh, uh, looking at they're really hoping uh, something can come out from this you know, regarding phase two, they're still looking for volunteers. How difficult is it to find people willing to take part, put their health at risk? And what's the possibility of a Chinese vaccine being tested abroad? Um, I think uh, in China, you will find uh, people who want to do this. But the problem here is in China, the uh, situation, um, the uh, COVID-19 thing, is kind of like under pretty good control. Uh, so it's it's good for China, for people who live in China, but it's not good for the clinical trial. Uh, because this is going to be a, a, a trial, a research to look at the efficacy of the vaccination. So for this, you want to immunize people and see how many people after immunized, uh, there are, uh, they're not getting the uh, infection. So it's the infection rate is critical. So let's say if people there, they have less than 1% of a chance getting infected, then that means even um, with a very effective vaccination, it's very hard to see the effect you know, between zero and one. It's, 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 it's really hard. You probably ideally, you want to do this in a place that has like a, a very high infection rate, like you know 20 or 30 percent, something like that. So you can see the result with a very small um, amount of people. So with current situation in China, it's it's very difficult. It's it's um, it's really really difficult to find enough people. Uh, I mean, it's not because like no people want to do this, but it's just because there. Uh, the rate of infection, uh, you need a, a lot of people to do this, and it's not that practical. So uh, if if the situation will not change, that means definitely the trial has to move to other place, other country that has very high uh, infection rate. Now, there's been a lot of discussion about the use of antibodies from recovered patients. Uh, what do you make of that, and where does that stand? Uh, I think that's uh, kind of, I mean, in my opinion, that's a, a desperate way, approach to, to trying to save people. Um, it's not, right now there is no proven efficacy for those kind of like treatment, but it's for people who uh, has, uh, is very, very sick and they have no other uh, way of to help them. So they're giving this kind of like a, uh, serum, but uh, it's it's not a very, um, in in my opinion, it's not a very safe uh, treatment because uh, you know the patient could be exposed to potential like um, other like virus or other other stuff like that in 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 the donor. So it's it's not a very um, it's not a sure thing. It's just a trial. I mean, I know a, a lot of company, I mean, countries are trying this kind of stuff, but uh, at this point, there is no solid conclusion.